Hey guys, so today we are doing my boxer charm unboxing. That is why I have some of my makeup on today uh, because I like to take the products and use them so you guys can also get a good feel for how they work as well if you're interested in buying any of these products or signing up for BoxyCharm. Um, so if you want to sign up, but, 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 but so if you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, um, it's $21 a month. The boxes are usually more than $120 of value. Um, I've had some that are as far as like $140 something um, of value as well. Um, I will put a link down below that you can use if you are interested in signing up. Sometimes they have a wait list. Um, when I signed up, I wasn't on the wait list for long, but that was quite some time ago, so I can't really attest to that now. Um, is that all that I have to say? Yeah, um, you get like five, sometimes six. I've gotten one where I've gotten like six, but usually five full-size products. So it is definitely well with your money. There's always like two things probably that are over the price of what you're paying for the box. And sometimes there's like three. Usually they're all close. Um, I haven't really had many, like we've had some ColourPops, ColourPops. Colourpop lipsticks that were $6, but I mean, still everything else was, you know, really high in price. So yeah, if you're interested in what I got in January's BoxyCharm, make sure you keep watching. So I am going to start off with a couple of things real quick. Um, first off is this Pure Cosmetics. Um, it is like their Bronze and Brighton palette the lights are kind of washing it out a little bit. This um, has a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. You know, there's shimmers in all of this. I used the one that came with it last month and it was a um, blush palette and a bronzer palette as well and they were both shimmery. And you know, it just reaffirmed that I'm just not a huge fan of um, highly intense <laughs> shimmery products. And looking at this like those both look like they have the same type of shimmer that this highlight does. And I just don't want to use this palette and not like it and only get one use out of it. I would rather save it and put it in a giveaway for, you know, somebody that likes this type of product or is interested in trying this type of product. Just some background on this right here. It is, um, Pure the Complexion Authority. Have they always been called that? I don't know, man. I don't know. So it is the Bronze and Brighton Cheek Palette. It retails for $34. Um, so it has their fan favorites, which is Afterglow and Mineral Glow. So I think Afterglow is the highlight and Mineral Glow is the bronzer, along with a new blush shade, which is called Blushing Glow. It would be really cool to have this if this is something that you're interested in because this is like pretty much a whole face palette in one, which is really nice. And their whole thing that they're like really pushing is it's travel friendly and everything like that too. Because if you like this, then you wouldn't have to take, you know, three individual palettes. You could just take one. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to set this to the side <laughs> since I don't want to use it. Um, and I'm going to let my cat in real quick. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just let me sit down real quick. Goodness gracious. Now I'm going to get on to the products that I can use or that I'm going to use. Um, this is just a really weird angle and she's just all up in my business right now and I can't fix it. So this is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. So <laughs> I have foundation on already. Um, I kind of forgot. I just thought this was an eyelid primer not like a whole face primer. So this says it's for all skin types. It's an illuminizing primer. Um, apply to a clean, moisturized skin. Use alone for a natural bounce of light on the skin or under makeup to prep your skin for a flawless application AM and PM. So this retails for $38. Um, pretty much all of that is the same that it reads on there. So I am still going to use this on my eyes. I, I mean, this is full size. And this right here is $38. Like, that's just Dr. Brandt. Um, but they've given us Dr. Brandt stuffs, um, more than just once. So, I mean, that's really cool. I have some exfoliators um, from Dr. Brandt, and I absolutely love those. The microdermabrasion um, is like my favorite one. So it is like kind of like a beigey color. So you probably won't be able to tell. It's right here, but it does give like some luminizing quality. Um, but we're just gonna, <laughs> 
put this on the eyelid as well. It's not really like evening the skin tone right there, um, but it still should do the same in like making sure that your eyeshadow is, you know, good. So this is the first time that I have not gotten a brush in my BoxyCharm. She's not having this. She's not having it. I know. Um, so yeah, this isn't the first time that I've not had a brush in here, which is totally okay. But just saying, they do usually give brushes. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a little ingredient list for the um, Pores No More um, primer. That's interesting. I've never seen them do that before. Oh, it's not even on here. Maybe because when it comes in the box, it comes with the ingredients on it. So maybe that's how they did it. Oh, there's a bunch of cat hair up my nose. So next up is this um, Crown Pro Glam and Metals palette. So like the whole theme this month is like Rock 2018 since it is the new year. And here is the eyeshadow palette. The front of it looks just the same as the little um, cartridge that I just pulled it out of. So here is a mirror, which when you're looking, I mean, this doesn't really allow too much space, but I mean, it's kind of a cute idea. Um, and then here are all the shadows. There's nine shadows, and some of them look um, shimmery, some look like a satin shimmer finish, and that is a matte, but with a little bit of glitter in it. And all of the names are like, um, like heavy metal, like metal theme. So this is $25, and they're highly pigmented, ultra blendable shadows, make smoky eyes look like a breeze. So let's swatch a couple. I am intrigued in um, Heavy Metal, The Wicked, and I always like to see how blacks look. So here it is on my fingers. Um, so yeah, that is what the swatches look like. There's still quite a bit on my fingers, so let's see. So the black is pretty pigmented. I personally don't like super pigmented blacks just because, you know, it's really hard to control that. Um, the Wicked is just not how I thought it would in the pan. It has like a purple-esque tone to it and on the hand it has more of like a brown tone to it. Um, maybe it's just like a duo thing. I don't really know. And then Heavy Metal, yeah, is really pretty. I really like that. I don't really have a shade like that. So this right down here is Punk. And this is heavy metal. I would say there's maybe like a slight more slight undertone with punk, but they're very similar. Just throwing that out there. And then while we're at it, I want to swatch rock on and pop rock because um, this is rock on and this is pop rock and they're very similar to rock on pop rock. So this one has more of a champagne -y undertone and this one definitely has like a bronze gold undertone. So, okay, they are um, similar in the pan, but definitely different once they're on the skin. So, of course, since most of these are like shimmer shadows, I am going to need to reach into another palette. So I am just using my Dream Street with Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. Um, this is like my favorite palette ever. <laughs> I am definitely becoming very obsessed with it. I use it pretty much every freaking day. So I'm just going to pop on this, sh <laughs> this shade right here which is um, Shooting Star. I think I'm going to use Heavy Metal just because I'm very intrigued by that. It's this shade right here. And I just really want to see how it looks. Not really sure how I'm going to use it because I'm using warm tones right now and that's a cool tone, so maybe that's not the best idea. So I just went in with this shade um, Moony as well. Kind of buffing that into the crease. It's just this one right here, just to kind of deepen it some. And I'm just using my e.l.f. C brush. It's like one of my favorite brushes to um, put on shimmery shadows with. And I did wet this one just because I forgot. I'm just so used to doing that with shimmer shadows just because I really like them to be more intense. So what I'm going for is kind of like a spot highlight halo eye sort of thing. That is so pretty. So the other side is dry so let's just see how it goes on dry. It's still really pretty. It just doesn't have that same intensity. And let's see how it applies with a finger. Sometimes that is honestly the best way to apply eyeshadows. Which, yeah, I mean, that, like, just goes on really pretty, too. I will say this mirror definitely makes it hard. So we have that on. Now what I'm going to do is dip into this shade right here, Water Bearer. And I'm taking that on with my Morphe E36. 
I need a better man, but I'm too lazy. I'm going to pop that onto the corners of my eyelid. I like to pack on dark shadows first and then blend them out so it's just easier to control. So I'm just going to get a clean uh, blending brush. I think this is clean. Yeah. And really just like blend out that crease since I put some water bearer in there as well. <laughs> Oh, it's so dark. It is so dark. I'm just not used to having dark eyeshadow on. And I, it's crazy. Like, I used to do that all the time. When I was in high school, I always wore dark eyeshadow. Like, I always had blacks and grays. And I just, like, grew out of it. So I'm taking my ER37. I'm going to blend that again. And when I'm done with this, I'm going to add more of that heavy metal shade on top. Since we are losing it from all of this blending. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go with the route of a wet brush just so I can concentrate where I'm putting it. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's like, I like that. Definitely um, have to get used to it. Okay, so I'm going to pop on some winged liner. Uh, probably not too quickly, but hopefully quick. And some mascara, and I will be right back. Okay, so I popped on my liner and some mascara. If I really wanted to take this look to the next level, I could definitely pop on some falsies, um, but I don't really ever use falsies. <laughs> so, you know, that's how I feel about that. So to finish up the lower line, the lower line, the lower lash line, I just put some of the water bearer on my lower lash line. So the verdict on this palette is I think that is really good. I think that, I mean, I only used one color, but I had swatched another, and I kind of liked the way that they were looking on my arm. The only thing about this type of palette is you just can't create a full look, um, but definitely like when I say uh, make a smoky eye uh, with ease, they are not playing. I mean, if you're looking for some of those like shimmer shadows and you just want one palette with all of them condensed to it, I think that this would be a really good idea for you. If you're looking for an eyeshadow palette that you can create multiple looks from just by using that one shallot, one shallot, one palette, it's probably not the palette for you. So the next thing is this Brow Power from IT Cosmetics. It is a universal brow pencil and universal taupe. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about these types of products just because how can something be a universal shape? This retails for $24 and it, oh wow, this is interesting. So it was developed with plastic surgeons. Um, it Cosmetics, number one selling, best selling, award winning eyebrow pencil is infused with brow enhancing biotin, lecithin, Saw, palmetto, nettle, green tea, antioxidants, grapeseed, and vitamins A, B5, C, and E, plus property brow power, which is something they are like um, trademarking technology, to give you your most beautiful natural looking brows even when you have none at all. Plus, it's a universal transforming shade adjust to all hair colors based on pressure. What? Its exclusive oval tip mimics the look of real hair and it includes a built-in grooming spoolie brush for polished perfection. The brush seems like normal. Um, okay, so essentially what's packed that I've never seen that is oval shape. The idea of this is it's packed with all of these things to, I'm assuming, enhance or encourage growth on your eyebrows. So that's what it looks like swatched. Now normally like this kind of has the same dry texture as the um, triangle-ish shaped ones that I'm not a fan of. Um, and I'm not a fan of those because they dry out very quickly and they don't put on color evenly. Now this one is for sure. That color however kind of matches. So when they say that it's changing colors or whatever based on pressure. That's just the more pressure that you're putting, the more colors that's being put onto your skin. So if you press press lightly, less pigment's gonna be put onto your skin. So it's nothing like fancy or anything like that. So let's go ahead and fill in the brows. Okay, so my brows are done. I feel about this product the same that I feel about other eyebrow pencils that have the same type of texture and shape. So those, you know, pointed ones have the same type of texture as this one where they're just not putting on color like I like it. Um, now you definitely can just work more to get it to where you want it, but I just feel as if I can't, like the exact like precision that I want. It does give a natural looking brow, I will say that. This is just my personal opinion. I will use this and I will keep you updated on it. It's just I don't prefer that type of formula and I don't prefer 
shapes like that. Like I just want a very pinpoint shape when it comes to my upper products. You know what I mean? Nonetheless, it might be really nice. It's not as drying and it wasn't as rough as those normal type of formulas are. Like those are normally so rough that they like pull out my hair. So then this last thing is this Girlactic um, Matte Lip Paint. So this is $23. It's lightweight, long wearing, non-cracking, and won't settle. So they do say if you want a better application to not put on like a lip balm or primer before you use it. So this is in the shade Demore. This is a really pretty shade. Like, what color is this? This is like a berry taupish shade in my opinion. I'm not sure how it's going to look with this eye look I have going on right now. Oh, it smells like smells like candy. Okay, so I have that on and this is what it looks like. I actually really like it. It's very opaque, not sticky at all. A little bit came off and I got some of my teeth. Um, my lips are chapped and it is emphasizing that, but very comfortable, very lightweight. About it settling, it's really showing off my fine lines in my lips, but that doesn't really bother me. Other than that, I really like it. So let's see, oh wait, <laughs> hold on girl. That is everything for this box. So everything that I use for this box, except for that pure um, cheek palette is on my face right now. If you're, you know, liking this, then cool. So I'm just going to add up the total. Everything this month cost over the price of what you're paying for the box. So even if I just like, you know, two or three of the products, that's really cool. Like that's worth it to me and I can't complain, you know, I just can't complain with that. So I will keep you posted on how that primer works since I didn't really use it as it was truly meant to be, but my eyeshadow did go on, you know, flawlessly and it's not creasing yet so you know it's doing something probably um so the entire box cost 144 dollars and that is incredible so again if you're interested in signing up for boxycharm a link will be down below that is everything for this video if you liked it please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that little notification bell so it will notify you every single time that i post comment down below if you have BoxyCharm or you just really like watching BoxyCharm videos, what your favorite product is, and let me know some videos that you would like for me to do. Make sure that you enter my giveaway that's going on right now. I will put it in the cards up above. It is closing in on the time that it is done, so you really want to make sure that you enter that because it is freaking awesome. Awesome. And follow me on all of my social medias. The links are in the description box down below, and they are on the screen right now. I'll see you loonies next time. Bye guys! Oh, 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 forgot to finish up my look. Forgot to put some color underneath my eyebrow. I'm just using something from the Kathleen Lines palette still. I think it's called Alefish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, now we're done.